Welcome back to the 3-Minute Node. Our last shortcut on Alama Vision for Comfy UI blew up because efficiency is king, but today we are going for a deeper dive. We are going beyond the surface to solve the VRAM ghosting issue and benchmark the brand new 2026 model lineup to see which vision model actually holds the crown for image-to-prompt workflows. First, let's talk about the state of Comfy UI. We just hit version 0.7.0 .0 on New Year's Day. The pace of development in the last month has been staggering, moving from 0.4 to 0.7 in weeks. This version stabilizes the front end for the massive multimodal workloads we are seeing now and optimizes how Comfy handles external API calls, which is perfect timing for our Alama integration. Before we look at the results, we have to fix a critical technical flaw. Many of you reported out-of-memory errors when running Alama alongside Comfy UI. Here is the culprit. In the Alama connectivity node, the Keep Alive parameter defaults to 5 minutes. This means after your vision query is done, the model remains parked in your VRAM for 5 minutes. Check the resource monitor. Our VRAM usage jumps to 45% and stays there, choking the K-sampler if we try to generate any images afterward. Because Alama runs as a separate process, the internal clean VRAM functions in Comfy UI cannot touch it. We even tried adding a clean VRAM node and manually clearing the cache, but neither worked. To fix this, set Keep Alive to zero. This forces Alama to release the VRAM the millisecond the text response is generated, clearing the path for your image generation. Now for the main event. We checked the Alama library for the most popular vision models under 6 GB. We are putting four heavy hitters to the test, QN3 VL8B, Ministral 3.8b, Lava 7b, and the lightweight Gemma 3.4b. Our goal is a perfect visual recreation. We are using Zimage Turbo at 8 steps, CFG 1.0, and a fixed seed of 42 to keep the playing field level. Our system prompt is strict. Generate a detailed paragraph focusing on subject, lighting, and mood without speculation. As we hit run on these queries, pay attention to the generation speed in the terminal. Gemma 3 is lightning fast, finishing its analysis almost instantly thanks to its optimized 4 billion parameter architecture. On the other end of the spectrum, QN3 is noticeably the slowest. It is a much denser model with significantly more parameters to crunch through, but as we are about to see, that extra processing time often translates directly into visual intelligence. All models are running within a reasonable processing time, however, as they are fully utilizing the Alama infrastructure. In our first test, we have a woman in a knit sweater sitting on a mossy wall. Look at the description accuracy as it scrolls. QN3 was the undisputed winner here. It captured the dappled afternoon light and the specific leg-crossed pose perfectly. Gemma 3 was a close second, getting the wardrobe right but missing that golden hour lighting mood. Ministral 3 was a total failure in this round, hallucinating long brown pants that did not exist in the source, while Lava struggled with the fabric textures, defaulting the subject into basic jeans. Next, we tested a complex mirror selfie in a minimalist studio. This is a high contrast scene with lots of background objects. Ministral 3 failed again here, strangely cutting off the subject's head in the recreation. Lava produced a clean image, but it lost all the environmental storytelling, leaving the room feeling vacant. The real battle was between QN3 and Gemma 3. While QN was more technically precise, even identifying the man working in the background, I actually preferred Gemma 3 output. It captured the high-end fashion vibe and the soft studio lighting more effectively than the others. For our third test, we move to a snowy log cabin at dusk with smoke rising from the chimney. This is a test of architectural detail and atmosphere. This is where lava fell apart completely, 
losing the essence of the cabin structure. QN3 also struggled with the exposure, making the scene far too gloomy and dark. Surprisingly, Ministral 3 and Gemma 3 were the stars here. Ministral 3 specifically captured the stone chimney and the way the smoke curls better than any other model, proving that some models handle environmental structures much better than they handle human anatomy. Finally, we tested a wet Japanese street filled with oversized robotic Santas. This is a nightmare for vision models due to the reflections and surreal subjects. Lava failed by interpreting the Santas as a literal crowd of people walking shoulder to shoulder. Ministral and QN were passable, but lacked the pop of the original. Gemma 3 was the hero of the final round. It perfectly translated the neon blue reflections on the wet pavement and the exact placement of the robotic figures, maintaining that specific cinematic energy. The verdict is clear. If you want the absolute best overall accuracy for human-centric workflows and don't mind the wait, QN3 VL8B is your primary tool. However, do not sleep on Gemma 34B. It is nearly half the size, releases VRAM much faster, and in many creative cases, actually understands the vibe and lighting better than the heavyweights. Before we wrap up, I wanted to throw a wild card into the mix. Florence 2. As you can see in the final workflow, I've added the Florence 2 run and model loader nodes as a baseline comparison against our Alama vision models. While models like QN3 and Gemma 3 are general purpose vision language models designed for deep reasoning, Florence 2 is a specialized, lightweight vision model from Microsoft designed specifically for grounding and captioning. In our first test with the Autumn Portrait, Florence 2 held its own, performing comparably to Gemma 3 and QN3. It was significantly more accurate than the failures we saw from Lava and Ministral. But the real shock came in our second test, the Studio Mirror. Florence 2 was actually superior to all four Alama models. It didn't hallucinate or lose the subject. It provided a technically grounded description that translated perfectly into Z-Image Turbo. Even in the difficult snow cabin and neon cyber street tests, Florence 2 was rock solid. The results were completely passable, proving that you don't always need a massive LLM for high-quality prompt recreation. If you are extremely tight on VRAM or need the absolute fastest captioning possible, Florence 2 remains a top-tier contender in the 2026 workflow. This deep dive confirms that our 2026 toolkit is more powerful than ever, but only if you manage your resources. We solved the Alama VRAM ghosting issue by mastering the Keep Alive toggle, and we've mapped out exactly which models to use for different creative goals. QN3 VL8B is your heavy hitter for professional detail, Gemma 3 4B is your speed king for lighting and vibe, and Florence 2 is your reliable, lightweight grounding tool for complex compositions. The exact comfy UI workflow JSON from today's video, including the Florence 2 comparison nodes, is available now on our Discord. Stop watching. Start creating. And that's the node, all open source, no filler. Thank you for watching. Grab the file, keep creating.